Hey everyone, it's Shelly. Today we are going to be doing a quick video about how to edit within iMovie for iPhone or iPad. The first thing we're going to do is fire up a new project. So hit create project. We're going to hit movie is the type of project we will be working on. Now you can't have a video file without some actual video. So let's go ahead into the library and select a few. I went ahead and shot a few videos around Seattle from Pike Place and going to Cary Park. So I'm going to import those into my video. So along the bottom is where you see the timeline. This is where all the videos are. My video is upside down and we definitely don't want that. You're going to take two fingers and kind of swipe it to the left or right, whichever direction you're trying to go. And now you'll see um, once I do that, then my video is now upright the correct way. Now I'm kind of sliding through the timeline to the left and right just quickly so you can see that's called scrubbing. You can kind of preview the video as it is. And I'm trying to get to a point, I'm talking at the beginning, I know that I don't want that. So I'm gonna to get to a point where I do start talking and then I'm going to actually split my clip and delete everything from the beginning that I don't want. Now if I didn't cut enough, I'll just make sure that my yellow bar is highlighted and then I can actually slide it in from the left and that will also make my clip shorter, cutting it from the front. Welcome to Seattle. This is section four of the video. Uh-oh, did I just say section four? That doesn't sound right now, does it? I don't know. I don't know what else to say. And that definitely doesn't sound like something I want to keep in the video. Welcome to, welcome to Seattle. This is... Or that. I better cut that out too. Let's highlight the video clip in yellow and drag from the beginning until I have the part I like. Welcome to Seattle. This is section two of the video. Hmm, it seems if it's section two, it should be before section four, right? So I'm gonna drag that clip and bring it before the last section that said section four. There we go, that looks better. Now, where were we in our editing process? Should I just say all the numbers? Sure. Pretty sure I shouldn't leave that in there, so we better highlight that and actually scrub that out. Welcome to Seattle, this is section one of the video. All right, same deal. If this is section one, we really need to split it and put it at the beginning of the group of all of the talking pieces. So here I go again, taking that and placing it at the very, very beginning. Now there's only one clip left, and I think you guys know what it is, so let's go ahead and check it out. Welcome to Seattle. This is section three of the video. And that's the last of me talking, so I'm going to go ahead and stop it right there so I can split it and cut off the tail end of it. And then I'm going to take that what is supposed to be section three and just bring it in one section so that it is in the correct spot. Now I'm just gonna make sure all four clips are in order. Welcome to Seattle, this is section one of the video. Welcome to Seattle, this is section two of the video. Welcome to Seattle, this is section three of the video. Welcome to Seattle, this is section four of the video. All right, now that that is all set up, I think I'm gonna take that very first clip, I'm gonna drag it to the very beginning of the movie and then I'm going to show you around Seattle in a couple of spots. So let's go ahead and get started showing you that. We're going to start out at Cary Park, a tiny little place but great views of Seattle, but I have a problem with this clip. In this video, I just want you to see the view. I don't want you to hear the conversation of everyone around me. So I'm going to detach the audio from this and then I'm going to delete it. That way, when it plays the video, it will just have video and no audio. You'll also see that there's no volume because there is an icon that has the mute button on it. So that's one way that you know that there's no audio on your clip. In some cases, you may want to just lower the volume or just take out the volume altogether. Here's a second way to do that. Just make sure that your clip is highlighted in yellow. Click that icon for audio and then just slide the volume indicator to what level that you want it at. It can be increased or all the way down to zero. I'm just going to go ahead and delete the audio or lower the volume on all of these remaining clips. So let me just do that really quickly. Now, I don't know if you saw it previously, but there are little icons in between the clips. These are your transitions. And I want to go ahead and show you a couple of options on these. When you click on the little box in between the clips, it's going to bring up your menu for your transitions. Now one thing that you can see here is if you wanted to change the direction of one of your transitions, like your slides here, if you keep hitting it, you'll see that there's additional options. That means it's going to change the direction the slide is happening. You can't quite see it on the screen, but you can indicate by the arrow that is in the transition menu right there. 
Now if you go into your project settings, which looks like the little gear icon, you can also do things like add project filters across the entire thing, add theme music, fade in from black. There are a lot of additional options that you can do. You can also change the length of your transitions here in between your clips. Make sure you see that it's on the left hand side. All right, I think it's time to see site number two. Let's go ahead and take that clip of me saying clip number two and drag it behind Carrie Park and let's see site number two. Spot number two is iconic Pike Place Market and I'm gonna go ahead and show you the giant Ferris wheel, the flower vendors, as well as the place where they throw the fish. Seems like this is a quintessential and iconic Seattle landmark so of course I have to show it to you. But now that I'm thinking about it, I think the Ferris wheel is a little bit weird to put in here even though you can see it from Pike Place so I'm gonna scoot it to section three. And now I have the Ferris wheel section as behind me saying that this is section three, and I think I like that better. And ironically, section four is where we started it all. Instead of section one at Cary Park, section four is going to be South Lake Union Park, where I am standing in front of this art piece. Alrighty, I think I'm done with my movie now, so I'm just gonna hit the done button, and then I'm going to be able to export it. I'm gonna save it to my camera roll, so I'm just gonna go ahead and label this as Seattle Tour, and then I'm going to say the resolution as 1080p. Once you're done with this and exporting it to your photo library, you could upload it straight to YouTube, or you could airdrop it to your computer if you wanted to do some additional edits on it, it's up to you. But for now, you're all done, and you could leave it just as it is. You certainly don't have to watch, but if you want to, here is a quick peek about the video in Seattle. Welcome to Seattle, this is section one of the video. Welcome to Seattle, this is section two of the video. Welcome to Seattle, this is section three of the video. Welcome to Seattle, this is section four of the video. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up and consider subscribing to my channel. I put out a new video every week. I can't wait to hang out with you guys again. I'll see you very soon. Bye.